Looks good, doesn't it? Did you condemn Hamas? Yeah, but I thought the breasts were going to be bigger. Yeah, so did I. As I walk through the valley of we the can do a whole lot more I take one. a look at my life and realize it's not would you condemn, condemn, condemn Hamas? It's good, doesn't it? Yeah, but I thought... Would you condemn Hamas for what they did? I'm very reluctant to condemn people... Yeah, I hear that uh, the 22 guys say they have a lot more room. Were I in that position or condition, I'm not sure what I would do. A lot more what? Hamas, Hamas. A lot more room for activities. You ask me why I won't condemn them. Because those young men were born into a concentration camp. As I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's not uh, populated places on, on God's earth. Half of the population of Gaza's children, 70% are refugees who were expelled from Israel in 1948 and their descendants. 70% of those of Gaza's youth have no jobs, no future, no nothing. They lived for two decades in a concentration camp. Half of them, according to humanitarian organizations, suffered from what's called severe food insecurity. And then on top of that, as I'm sure you know, Pierce, because you keep up with the news, periodically Israel goes into Gaza and it mows the lawn. As I walk through the valley of the sun. And you know what mows the lawn means. It means a high-tech massacre in Gaza. As I walk the through line. the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's not death. It seems to me what you're trying to paint is a picture of some kind of moral justification for what Hamas did. They are Susan Boyle times 10,000, never given a chance. As I walk through the valley of the shadow, a whole lot yeah, more I take point. a look at my life and realize there's not enough. And as things looked the night before October 7th, when the question of Gaza was disappearing from the public stage. As I walk through the valley of the sun, I will admit to you, oh, I, yeah, I take a look at my life and realize it's not enough. I myself have given up on Gaza. In 2020, I decided it's hopeless, it's pointless, I only have a finite number of years left in my life, and it's time for me to move on. As I walk through the valley of the shadow, I take a look at my life and realize it's not enough.